Greetings, grace and peace to you, beloved of God of Grace Lutheran Church. Pastor Ben here with another update from the pastor's desk. This one is for Friday, February 9th, 2024. We have uh, an exciting weekend coming up. Of course, Transfiguration Sunday, this coming Sunday, the 11th. Um, and afterward, the Super Bowl of Caring. Um, the proceeds from that are going to be uh, headed over to North Raleigh Ministries, so please do bring uh, what you can. But uh, especially want to say thank you to all those who are planning to make soup and chili for us all to try. Um, it's a great event. It's always really fun. So plan for 9 o'clock Bible study, 10 o'clock worship, and afterward our uh, Super Bowl of Caring Soup and Chili Cook-Off. That's always such a great event. Um, of course, this also means that we are right around the corner from Lent, and Lent begins next Wednesday on the 14th, which is also Valentine's Day. Uh, but what could be more romantic, you know? Come on over to church and get your ashes. We will have a 12 o'clock noon and a 7 p.m. worship times. Uh, they'll be the same services. The 7 o'clock service will also be live streamed, um, just so so that you know. So if that evening set works for you, it'll be a six o'clock pancake dinner and then seven o'clock worship. Um, that, that, that's the tradition here at Grace where we do our pancakes uh, mid middle of the day on Ash Wednesday. <clears throat> really speaks to the demographic of our church. We have folks from far and wide in the triangle. And so rather than coming two days in a row, we have our pancakes at six on Wednesday, the 14th. The rest of Lent, of course, will be filled with uh, all sorts of ways to connect with each other and connect with God in Christ um, at a really critical time of the year. And so please remember that we'll have Wednesday midweek meals every week during Lent uh, without counting Holy Week, um, six o'clock dinner together and seven o'clock worship. Um, we're going to be doing uh, Holden's Prayer Around the Cross and we're going to have our chairs arranged uh, to worship in the round, and I just think it's going to be awesome. So I really hope that you're planning to make that a part of your week, not just this coming Wednesday, the 14th for Ash Wednesday, but also then starting on the 21st, that weekly routine of being together as a church family for dinner and for worship. The th other thing I'm really excited about right now is that we are getting and kind of diving headlong into our Habitat for Humanity campaign. I wanted to be sure to point this out to you. This is a great visual uh, by which to count our fundraising for the next several weeks. Um, and thanks to the SHARE team and Sue for putting this together. Um, we will not do another noisy offering this Sunday during the children's sermon. Uh, we'll wait a couple of weeks for that. Um, but of course, you are welcome to continue to donate to the, Nor the um, Habitat for Humanity uh, through the Lutheran Coalition. You can do that with a check or obviously cash in an envelope. Um, you can also jump on Realm and from the pull-down menu select Habitat for Humanity Fundraiser. Um, and so thank you for your generous support of this really essential ministry in our community. Um, the new build is taking place in Nightdale. It's already well underway. Our workday is going to be March the 9th, so anybody with any kind of carpentry skills, or at least if you can carry stuff, uh, um, I know that I don't have great carpentry skills, but I can kind of be there for support and carrying things, please do mark that day, March the 9th. It's a Saturday, and we'll be there, I believe, at 8.30 a.m., so go ahead and mark that uh, on, your, on your calendar. You can visit their website, but we'll also have uh, a link in the Grace Happenings email that will take you to the portal uh, to sign up to volunteer for that day. It's a pretty simple process, so um, thank you in advance for doing that. However, at Grace, we want to make sure that this is something that's available to everyone. Um, you don't have to have carpentry skills. You don't have to be over the age of 16. Um, that's just for the, the workday itself. But um, I know that on March the 3rd, the younger ones are going to be getting together, um, I believe, over Sunday school hour and decorating the baffles like they did last year. Um, I know that the youth are going to be providing lunch for that day through a Thrive in Action Team grant. 
Um, and so, again, thanks in advance to everyone who's putting these plans into place, and I hope that you'll plan to participate as well. Again, all are welcome into this um, way of being partners in ministry and providing really affordable housing in an area where that is so hard to find. <clears throat> um, again, so much to be excited about, so much to be thankful for. Um, I am thankful for our partnership in ministry, and I would urge you to read your Grace, uh, Grace Happenings email from top to bottom, um, just to be aware of all the ways that um, we can be together in the weeks to come. I hope that you have a wonderful, blessed, and safe weekend, and I'll see you Sunday.